welcome to another episode of the commute. Where I will be your oh, driver. And I will be your passenger. <laughs> in uh, September 2012, an excavator driver in South Korea was arrested after he allegedly assaulted a parking enforcement officer. So he wasn't happy about the whole situation, how it went down. So he shows up to the police station with an excavator, big old fucking jaws of life, you know, at the end of it, uh-huh. and just starts wrecking the fucking police station. They got the whole thing on video, man. A video camera outside of the police station. Did you watch the video? I watched the video. I tried to post it on our site, uh-huh. but the link was in Japanese. Oh, oh. And I thought Facebook would translate it and at least know where to go, but no. Yeah. It didn't. But but try to look this thing up. Uh, it's got to be something. It's on YouTube. This? It was in South Korea. And first he just takes the thing, he's just like destroying the fucking like concrete steps and everything. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden the crane goes away and you see a cop car get thrown at the building. He just fucking what? wings a cop car, man, right at it. Bam, then he starts fucking jawing away at the cop car and picking it up and slamming it down and ripping shit off it. And cops come running out of the building with like guns. And he's just, he's just going to town, man. But like, he goes on for about a minute. And in that minute, this destruction that he caused was insane. I mean, I and they didn't say what happened to him, like how long he got for doing that, but just but I just thought it was great. Just the balls of this guy. Like, oh you you gonna arrest me? Okay. Here I come. <laughs> just fucking but try to look it up. South Korea, like, excavator police station or something like that. I'm sure it'll come up. And they can't keep him in there for too long. He's a really good excavator. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, you only have to hire him for an hour and I'll have the fucking job done, you know? Yeah. Man. It was, to pick up, like, a car and throw it? Dude, man. It just, it was the, what, just one of the, one ballsiest but badass things I've seen in a while. Like, this although, guy just flipped his fucking lid. Although, I shouldn't say that. I mean, have you seen, like, there's some really good, like, crane operators and shit out there, man. Have you seen the thing where, like, the, the guy's, like, opening beer bottles with one? No. Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. I know. There's some really cool shit, man. Holy shit. I'm also guessing he's got a lot of time on his hands at the job. Like, that's a union worker. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that guy's, I'm done for the day. I'm going to practice opening beer bottles. <laughs> now you got it, Bill. When is that beer bottle and open the championship? <laughs> I would love one time just get some kind of big machinery like that and just have fun with it, you know? Well, there's a theme park, or a bunch of them. We, we, I think we did a story in, uh, over in Europe. There's a bunch of different theme parks, and that's what it is. It's, a, it's just that equipment there. And you can just dig holes and like oh, drive yeah, around. Remember we that? We talked about it. Yeah, 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 we gotta go. That would be a blast, man. Although it'd be more fun just to fucking go out on the road and just cause carnage. <laughs> you know? Of course. Fucking take that to work one day. Yeah, why has that never been in like a Grand Theft Auto game? Yeah. You know? Uh, really? Excavator fucking... thing. Like they put big trucks and shit like mm-hmm. that in there and helicopters. Buses and shit. But yeah, yeah where's something the I can just cause fucking damage with, man? Yeah. You know? Big old fucking ball, you know, just slam it into a building. Yeah. Have a whole yard full of like construction yeah. equipment. You can do just anything you want. Hijack that shit. Yeah, well, that could be a game in and of itself. Yeah. Yeah. Crane operator. I'm sure it already is. All those different simulator games. The. Uh... You know, I don't know if you can cause carnage with them. No, not. In it's the just like stock the shelves. Yeah, well, that's what that one. Yeah. The logistics simulator where you horrible. fucking drive a forklift around Jesus in a Christ. warehouse. <laughs> no, thank you. In a farm simulator where you just you drive a tractor around, you plow a field. Can't do it. Yeah, that's that's the whole that's the game. Can't do it. Goat simulator. <laughs> well that'll be completely do it. different. <laughs> that's fun as shit. Yeah, my daughter loves that game. She plays it more than I do. Yeah, same here. Kids will be on the computer. What are you doing? Good simulator. Yep. Okay. All right. Here's here's a. I guess you could say another ballsy move or crazy move, but I, I can't imagine it. Uh, a man managed to behead himself in a gruesome suicide in the Bronx on Monday. He uh, Thomas Rivera, 51 years old. 
from Port Jervis, tied a chain from his head to a pole, then hit the gas on his 2005 Honda CRV, and just fucking ripped his own head off. Like, on purpose. Uh, said he gunned it at 9.30 in the morning, slamming into a parked vehicle on Longfellow Avenue. He was decapitated and died at the scene. So he chained his head. And then to a pole. window to a pole. And then hit the gas. Hmm. Like, one, I, I wouldn't think that... I, I could see it breaking your neck. But I would almost see it ripping you out of the fucking car first. Or popping your skull I don't know, off. I guess that's. But it's only one bone holding on to it. Yeah. It's not really bone, you know, they're just layered on top of each other. Right. Not really but too much holding it there. I couldn't, man. Wow. I, I can think of lots of ways to kill yourself, but <clears throat> you don't know what the outcome of that's going to be. Because it might just break your neck and paralyze you for life, and now you're fucking crippled. I don't know. I guess, yeah, I don't. Well, I don't know. I, I can't see too any other way that that's not going to kill you. Now that I think about it. I mean, that's going to kill you no matter what. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess because it's essentially like hanging yourself. Well, just yeah, falling there's faster. so much force. Yeah, you're going faster that. than just jumping off a ladder. Yeah. Ugh, I couldn't do that, though. Yeah. Jesus. No way. Wow. But, yeah, yeah so that's that's, I thought that was crazy. I, I mean, you always hear people doing whatever to kill themselves a mm -hmm. similar way or whatever, but I, I never heard it. One, one, beheading yourself. Yeah. Let alone like that. And I guess there's not With many the ways to behead yourself. Mm, maybe you like that car. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going out in my baby. <laughs> She's going to assist me. Weird. All right, well, let's see what happened to this day a long time ago. September 4th, 1886, Apache Chief Geronimo surrenders to U.S. government troops. General Nelson Miles accepted Geronimo's surrender, making him the last Indian warrior to surrender. So that was it? He surrendered and yeah, this was battle after was like, over? Well, this this was after a long conflict. It mm -hmm. was, that war had been going on for about 30 years. Right. So but it just got to the point where the the Indians didn't have the manpower or the, the armaments to keep up a fight. So he just surrendered. That's all he could do. September 4th, 1957, Governor Orville Faubus of Arkansas enlists the National Guard to prevent nine African-American students from entering Central High School in Little Rock. Faubus took the action in violation of a federal order to integrate the school. On September 27th, 1957, President Dwight Eisenhower sent a thousand troops to Little Rock. The next day, the African-American students entered under heavily armed guard. That's got to be like a, that's like a mixed feeling. Like, okay, you can now be integrated, but fucking troops got to be around. You know what I mean? Like, well, that, how much freedom know. does it feel like? Right. But, I mean, it's the only way they were going to get in. Yeah. It was then. But, Yeah, Jesus. it's the, the first day when he ordered the, the National Guard there. There was the National Guard plus, like... 400 other, you know, white, like, protesters out there, too. Mm. And, like, they, the kids got there, and they had to, like, run away from there. Now, then, did they, were they all in the school but had separate classrooms, or were they all in the same classroom, too? Like, whites and blacks. No, I mean, at the time, there was no integration at all. No, no, I know at the time, but then when it happened, did it go right away where... Blacks are in the same classroom with whites, or was it like first grade separated by? I don't know. Whites don't know and blacks, how like how? Went. How quick did they really truly integrate it? Yeah. Well, I mean that's that's right during that whole time of just complete. Yeah, I mean then was upheaval about that. And there's still problems. Remember we did the story about the one school? Who yeah. Just like two years ago, had their first. Yeah, the the integrated prom. Yeah, the integrated prom. Yeah. Man, it's ridiculous. That was in I think Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I don't, I don't get it how here we are, you know, 50-some years later, 57 years later. Yeah. It's still an issue. It's all it was, 57 years, you know? I mean, that's like, that's enough where plenty of people from that 
you know, time, alive at that time, that were kids at that time, yeah. too. You know, completely remember that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Talk remember about what it was like on either side of that, you know? It's just it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's true, being on the, on the white side of it. Which is crazy, because you have two parts of the white side, you know, parts that were for it, parts that were against it. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Very different from what it is today. Maybe that's what we need to truly end racism. Like have people that don't remember mm -hmm. there being separation, what it's being like, anger, so. you know, over over just someone's color. Yeah. <clears throat> so maybe another 50, 60 years. Yeah. To really to truly see get rid of it. <laughs> some kind of end to it. Because like our kids, they don't even know what it is. No, you know, not they really. They wouldn't even think of not liking somebody just because of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't you know? even it doesn't come up. It doesn't register. But that that too that has a lot to do with just our environment here. It's not true. It's not like that everywhere. True, because if they had gone to a school yeah. two years ago that had separate, mm -hmm. well, there you go. You ruined them. Yeah, that's the thing. And it's, some of them could agree with taught. it, and it all depends on how you raise your kid. Because mm -hmm. we grew up, it was very racist you a, as kids. You got a turn signal on that thing? Of course not. Then you get no entry. You can go ahead and hit my car, and <laughs> you know we'll see what happens. Oh, Fucking he's black a black plater. Bitch. That's why you didn't see that. No, I saw it. <laughs> black plater. Wow. September fourth, four seventy six. Yeah. I was like, you forgot a number. Uh. <laughs> Romulus Augustus. The, uh, the last emperor yep. of the Western Roman Empire is deposed by Odeker, a German barbarian who proclaims himself king of Italy. So what happened there? Uh, it wasn't really too much like back story behind that. Nah. Like, today's was terrible. Yesterday's was pretty good. There was a good one from yesterday we should go to. Well, let's go to it. The, uh, it's just weird that a German barbarian would be like, I'm the king of Italy. Yeah. This is not well, I guess, mine. I guess at that time, uh, like the, the borders and stuff had been collapsing. It had already been yeah. separated into east and west Roman empires. So. Yeah, which one am I hitting yesterday? Uh, yesterday? There's one from like 1777, maybe that September one. September 3rd, 1777. The American flag was flown in, in battle for the first time. During a skirmish at Cooch's Bridge, Delaware. Yeah. Hmm. So that was the first time ever the yeah. American flag was, well, yeah, I guess 1777. Yeah. <clears throat> like the previous year had been voted on, you know, what it was going to look like and everything else. And, but it, and from then on, there it just hadn't come up. Hmm. And they, right uh, here in our homeland. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I thought that was a good one. There's a ton of history around here. Mm hmm. It's just not broadcast or not, you know. It's, no, you it's really do have to dig yeah. to find the history here. There's a lot of it, mm -hmm. but, man, it's secluded. Like that four miles, I never even knew that was a thing. Four yeah. miles. That's down by uh, Cape Henlopen. See, so you didn't even know it existed, right? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. My sister, she was like, we went down the other week. She says, oh, let's go to Fort Miles. I was like, what's oh, that? Oh, Fort Miles. Fort okay. Miles, yeah. And just all kinds of cool history there. Yeah. All kinds of cool stuff with the kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it's just wrapped up. Put away in its own little place. No pamphlets on it. Like, visit Fort Miles. You just have to know it's there. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Now let's go and take one more from yesterday. September 3rd, 2004. A three-day hostage crisis at a Russian school comes to a violent conclusion after a gun battle erupts between <coughs> hostage takers and Russian security forces. In the end, over 300 people died, many of them children and hundreds more injured. <coughs> wow, so what was the whole hostage thing about? Like, why, why did they They go were uh, Chechen, like... Rebels? Yeah, rebels, separatists, you know, they... They wanted uh, the Soviet troops to pull out of Chechnya. Wow, did they see how many rebels there were? I mean, 300 people died. 
or was yeah, that most well, of the they, hostages? Yeah, it was. It was all. It was all hostages. Oh. And plus those guys too. I mean, they wow. like stormed the place. But they uh, they set up bombs through the whole school. And at one point, this is what like kicked it off. Was some of the survivors said that the one of the bombs in the gym accidentally went off. It like wasn't set off by the oh, them shit. on purpose, and it just went off, and that caused the gym to collapse. So it killed the people in the immediate area. Then the, the collapse killed more people, and then the the guys they put up uh, they put up hostages like in the windows. Hey, you fucking douche! That was a black plate, bitch. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, they put the hostages up in the windows and the, the security forces shot the hostages. Wow. To get in and it was like this exchange of gunfire. Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> That's insane. Yep. I mean, you do what you gotta do, but that would never happen here. You know, I don't think it would. I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I guess if you get to the point where a couple hundred people are dying, then... It really depends. I mean, like, say, well, I mean, we talked about, uh, you know, Geronimo earlier. Say the Indian fight was happening now with more modern weaponry and, you know, that the same thing was happening, like attrition of, you know, American Indian troops down to a certain point, And then they become the separatists, more well-armed, you oh, know. Yes. It could easily happen. You know, yeah, they want their true. lands back. It's it's the same thing. People from a particular. Don't no, I mean that. I mean like shooting innocents to get into a fucking place. It, well, I, who knows? You I mean, know, what, but if it got that bad, that's yeah. what I'm saying. If it got that bad, I guess they would. We've just never experienced. Well, I, I think we have. Like I mean, what, well, there's what? been all kinds of standoffs and stuff. You know, recently and not. I mean, there was that uh, the thing down in Waco. Where they, you know, shot those people. A lot of those people weren't armed. They weren't. Yeah, but they weren't innocents or hostages either. I mean, they were all there by choice. And the kids? I mean. Well, yeah, not the kids. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know, and I, I don't know if you necessarily can say those people were there by choice. They were there by. Well, by crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they weren't kidnapped or. You know, yeah, they I all mean, they all walked into the place on their own. Yeah. You know. Yeah. To, or, you know, they came there with their spouse and then just got yeah. caught up in the whole thing. But they got caught up in it. You're that weak-minded to get caught up in something like that. I don't know. That's I, I really, I, I think just the way people are, I mean, you're, if you can, you know, somebody can form an attachment to anything, you know? Yeah. And no matter how strong-willed you are, I, I think you can still be convinced by an argument that appeals to you in whatever way, you know? Yeah, but you got to be in a bad way to have that happen to you. You know what I mean? You're not just going to seek out something and, and not just believe in it, but go that hardcore where it's like, give up everything you own, follow our rules, you're now mine. I, there's got to be other things going on. I don't know, man. I, you're going to be like, whoa, 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 this is batshit crazy. I thought we were coming into a new church, maybe getting some new friends. You know, what? Hey, go fuck yourself, buddy. This isn't what I thought it was. I don't know, man. I, I think people do it all the time. They, they do, do but there's a lot of weak-minded people. There's a lot of troubled people. There's a lot of crazy people. Yeah, but, you know, everybody is to a certain degree. Oh, you know? yeah, everybody's, I'm fucking... Everybody's looking for whatever attachment it is. Look at, uh, look at people who are looking around and they find, like, Scientology or, like, a fringe... Christian belief, yeah. like, which is what the Waco thing was. But even Scientology isn't as fucking crazy as they were. Isn't it? No. No, you're allowed to go home, you're allowed to marry who you want, you can do whatever. They talk into giving them a lot of your fucking money. I, but you're still allowed to have a life. Not really. What if you're in that, uh, like, if your parents are in that thing and, like, you're a second generation... Like, you can get into that, there's that Sea Org thing where they put you out on a, a fucking cruise ship and, like, you're in their Navy. And you can't go home from that. And the the impetus to stay is more than what it is to go home, too, because you lose every connection you have. All your friends, all your family, everything. How do you leave that? But are they being put on the ship, or are they... Yeah, I mean, they're, that's, they get signed up for it, and that's where no, they That's go. what I'm saying. That, that's not choice, though. That's... 
But it, it, it is and it isn't. I mean, it's it's a choice in so far as they're like, well, sure, I, you know, I want to serve the Sea Org, but they don't know anything else. You know what I mean? It's it's a choice, but it's not. Yeah. It gets a little different when you get to second generation. Yeah, and it's not... I'm simply talking about joining, changing your whole fucking life. Yeah, yeah. Based on something someone says. I don't know. I mean, look, look at uh, Nazi Germany. If you want to go back that far, that, you know, that was a whole people convinced by, you know, a cabal of guys, you know, that this is the way... Well, convinced in the way that if you don't agree with me, we're going to kill you. Not the whole country. Yeah. And, you know... Yeah, I mean, some people did back on this. There were plenty of, you know, scientists and plenty of rational people. But I also relate that to... There were, but it, it, to me, there was always, no matter who you were, some aspect of fear that made you say, "Yeah, they're right." Yeah, some people were, you but know? I mean, there were there were enough people that were. Well, sure, they there were just... some people, and they're the, the fucking weak-willed, unstable people. You can be smart and unstable. Yeah, yeah but the reg i mean, the the everyday people, the you know, people that did regular jobs, were just caught up by it. You know. And that, that's just a grander scale, but, yeah. you know, if you're in a smaller community, depending on where those people came from, I think you could be convinced by that. I'm sure you in. can. That's what I'm saying. I'm sure you can get convinced mm-hmm. of it. I guess what I'm saying is I never would. I, like, I, I don't yeah. think you'd ever well, be able to convince me of, I, I want to call you on your fucking bullshit. Yeah. And, if, you know, you want to fucking put a gun to my head or whatever, I'm going to fucking... Yeah. Well, Jack I mean, change the shit out. <laughs> well, I, like that's that's obviously not going to appeal to you, but like something else would, you know. There, there's... I can't ever see giving up everything I own that I've worked for, that I've lived for, for any one fucking thing. I don't know, man. There's a price you would pay. I think there's a price you would pay. I to, can't imagine give what it up. is, man. I mean, well, you know, give it some thought. Try to come up with something. Well, like, in in your case, because of. You know your life situation. It would have to be something that changes everything. So you know it would be being convinced of a a disease. You know was ravaging everything, and then you had to go to this location to be safe. You would do that to protect. You're saying there's really a disease, or that, there's not really there's a, a disease. disease. Nah, you see, convinced, I'm... but you don't know either way. There's enough information where you're convinced there's a disease. That's a rational enough thing to assume, but and trying to protect to save the your family, you love, right? You would. I still think I'd give up bullshit. everything. If, if if I believed in it, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you would. But I, I'm the type. Yes, I'm. Not, I wouldn't believe in it because I believe everybody's a fucking scam artist. Everybody's fucking lying to your face. Like, like, I don't know, man. If that, if they were broadcasting it over the radio and the TV, and there were those biohazard symbols on guys' suits and shit, you, you'd go in that truck, I man. Don't, I don't know. I don't know that I you'd would. Give it all up. I'd be like, whoa, 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 slow the fuck down. <laughs> Until I see. That's the thing. I'd have to see somebody. Yeah. Walking exactly down the street, really. fucking their skin melting off their body, and like, hey, well, shit, let's we're go. going in the truck <laughs> right now. But until like, I don't believe politicians when they fucking talk on TV. I don't believe fuck. I don't believe anything. Like even, <laughs> and it's because you're usually right about it. Like today, Kendra calls me up. She's like, "Oh, did you see Betty White died?" Yeah. I'm like, well, "She didn't fucking die. It's all over Facebook. Everybody's posting." I'm like, "It doesn't matter. It's not. Yeah. She didn't fucking die." It's so I get on Facebook and I, and I see something from some news site. Betty White died. And I'm like, nah, it's just this fucking news site jumped on whatever. Yeah. So I Google the shit. She's not dead. No, she put it out there or something. But Joan Rivers died. Dude, that's the thing. And then some later on in the afternoon, <laughs> she's not someone's dead. Someone's like, either. Joan River died. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, Joan Rivers did not die. I'm like, how'd she die? They were like, plastic surgery. I'm like, shut up. I'm like, who's going to believe that dumb bullshit? And I'm like, I'm, I'm looking this up. And yeah. I looked it up. I was like, oh, yeah, she's, she's dead. Yeah. yeah, the only reason I believe that was because I knew she was in like a see. I didn't even know she was in bad shape. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. Then she said she's getting surgery under her vocal cords. And yeah. She stopped breathing. Jesus. Yeah, I'm not gonna miss her. Now nah, we're at we're at the wrong time to enjoy her. Mm-hmm. You know, like when she was on the Johnny Carson show and shit. Yeah, like I mean she was on there for like a long time. She thought the job was hers when he was gone. Man, the clips I've seen, you know, she was funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I've sure she had a great amusing. Act and stuff. I but... saw a uh, documentary about her. 
uh, it was like that she had made of her current situation like two years ago yeah and uh she was she was funny she was interesting she was i liked her because she could make fun of herself yeah you know i love that that was yeah you know, you're never going to get her down because mm-hmm. she couldn't get her down. Right. And she knew what she was, and uh-huh. I'm going to go on with it. But, yeah, so, you but know. Yeah, I wasn't, I, I didn't go out of my way to watch anything. No. Nah. You know, she did. But. No, yeah, I stumbled across the documentary. I was like, oh, yeah. what's the John Rivers doing? But, but I didn't know she was fucking, what, 81 years old? Yeah. Said? I didn't know she was that old. Yeah. I mean, plastic surgery, but yeah. still, I just didn't think she was that fucking old. Holy shit. Yeah, it sneaks up, man. It's like I was watching that, uh... There's that show Manhattan where they're, like, building the, oh, yeah. the bomb Bombs. or whatever. And, uh, Daniel Stern is on there from, like, uh... I, he was in, like, Home Alone and all those other mm-hmm. fucking things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. But he's on there and, like, he's... He's got, like, the... He's got, like, the old man, like beard and stuff going on and everything but like he looks really fucking old yeah yeah how old is he i don't know he's got to be up there he's now. gonna be he's in the 60s right yeah close enough too i mean figure you know he's he was old like in home alone and yeah, shit. that was like 25 years ago yeah. right so yeah. yeah it doesn't take much or like i was thinking of uh I saw a clip like before I like left this morning or whatever, but uh, uh, Vince Vaughn like in um, or any of those guys in Swingers, mm-hmm. how like you know and all that shit was like '90s kind of stuff. They were supposed to take place then, and then you know now looking at them. Yeah. Oh, you look at them from then and then and now. Yeah. Fucking hell! What's his name? The yeah, Vince Vaughn. He yeah. was all like a skinny rail and shit. Now yeah. he got, he's starting to get like big head syndrome. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That guy or John Favreau. Yeah. yeah. He's like going back and forth with being like muscular and overweight and skinny. Yeah. It's... I love that movie when I first came out and I watched it a couple times. I watched it again recently. Mm-hmm. I can't stand that fucking movie. It doesn't hold up? It, no, dude. Fucking Vince Vaughn. He, he, he kills the fucking movie with his daddy, daddy, hey daddy, yeah. daddy comes to daddy, 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 daddy. I was like, oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> say it one more time. <laughs> say say it in a group of five one more time. And he, he's like, hey daddy, hey daddy, we're gonna do this. Hey, talk to my daddy. This is a daddy, hey daddy, daddy. Sh- oh my, oh god. Even and I'm like, just get to the part where they're playing Sega. Yeah. That's a great scene. And they get to that. He's like, hey daddy, daddy, you're playing Sega. This is daddy, daddy. The, hey, and a fucking Gretzky, daddy. Oh. Oh, I, just, oh, I turned it off. I'm like, I can't do it. I tried it for like 20 fucking minutes and I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh my god. And that's how they open the movie. You know, they're playing golf or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, Daddy, 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 Daddy. Oh. Oh, shut. Who fucking wrote this shit? Tom Favreau. God, like. yeah. Oh, who just thought he'd have become this big ass director, you know? Yeah. He's done really, really good. Yeah. You know, really well for himself. He always kind of annoyed me too. He's got a he had a good show oh, like the punchy, um, man. <laughs> I'm John Favreau. Wow. Not, what do you offer me? I'm John Favreau. Every now and then I grow a goatee. Uh. <laughs> Look how different I am. <laughs> it's evil me. <laughs> but the uh, he did he did that show like the uh, the dinner party show. Did you ever see that where he sits down with like four no. or five like actors or something and they have dinner at like a restaurant or no, something no. and just talk about directing and acting and shit. It's really good. I think it was on one of those channels. Uh, I mean, I'd be able to stand in with something like that, hosting somebody. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. I just hate the face. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hate the face guy. All right, one last quick note before we end it. Uh, we were, remember we were talking about the Russians sent up the uh, freaking uh, whatever, the lizards and the flies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They wanted them to have sex, all the sex right. they could. And Before they, they burn up or something. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, they didn't know. They, they, the goal was to have them come back to Earth and study the yeah. what happened to them while they were having sex in space. But the camera shut off, mm-hmm. and they lost visual of them, so they didn't know what the fuck was going on right. for like the last month or so. Well, the thing finally landed, and all the geckos were dead. Oh. 
they froze to death. Oh, man. And they said because the cameras were shut off, they don't even know when it happened. Right. You know, what part, what caused it. So the whole fucking thing was for nothing. Oh, man. But... Uh, I guess you can count the bodies. All five of them, four females and one male, were found dead when the spacecraft returned to Earth. Uh, well, so they know it didn't happen before the next generation. Right, right. No, I don't even yeah, I, So They never even had babies. Yeah, so probably whatever happened at the same time the camera shut off. Mm-hmm. Also yeah, shut really off something like The atmosphere. Just, you know, exactly. Uh, but yeah, they wanted to have embryonic development going in a zero gravity environment. I guess they could still study to see if yeah, how far it happened. Was, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the poor little critters died. No, oh, that's just, that's so, Yeah. But I just want to follow up since we did touch on the story a couple yeah. times. But. All right. Well, that'll do it for this episode of The Commute. Make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube and Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Driver Passenger. Check out our website, which is now up to date, twocommute.com, twocommute.com. And send us an email about anything you want at thecommutepodcast at comcast.net. Hope to see you soon.